I just got out of the shower and I'm on my way to go grab some lunch. I have a taste for some Mexican food, so that's what I am hoping to get today. And I love these jeans. I just love a classic pair of jeans and a white shirt. I just love that look. I've been sitting here checking out the view from my hotel room. It's so nice and it looks so peaceful. And the restaurant that I want to go to, it is open, but it's still only like 10 in the morning. I got up and got ready early, but I think I'm going to wait a few minutes before I leave. And I kind of want to go to Joanne Fabrics, but I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm in Texas and I'll be leaving tomorrow. So if I do go to Joanne's and I find something, I'm not going to have room for it in my luggage. So I think I'll just wait until I get home and do some shopping when I'm there. And I have two sewing makes to share with you because I sewed two things before I came here on this trip. Ooh, I had to change clothes because it is so cold. So instead of wearing my white shirt, I took it off and I put on the top that I made a couple videos ago. Maybe last video, I'm not sure. But oh, it's so cold, I can't believe it. Now I have to remember. Oh, here it is. I was going to say I have to remember where the car is parked. But I'm excited. I can't wait to eat. Whew, I cannot believe how cold it is. Yesterday it was in the 70s and today I just looked on my phone. It's only 43 degrees. I'm like, oh, what happened? What happened? All right. Time to go. Make sure nobody is coming because I am ready to eat. I'm back in California and my first stop was Joanne Fabrics. I think that this cotton fabric is super cute so I'm gonna get some of this. Joy Nicole, Brittany from Joy Nicole, she has a YouTube channel and she made this skirt. I thought it was so cute so I'm picking up this pattern which is Simplicity 9375. I also am going to get Simplicity 9702. I think this look is so cute and the patterns are $1.99 today so I'm just gonna thumb through here and see if there are any other patterns that I want to pick up. So it turns out that I'm actually going to have three sewing makes to share with you because I realized that the top that I changed into when I was going to lunch, I didn't share that with you. So that's going to be the next garment that I share with you. So the top that I wore to lunch was McCall's 8343 and I used some cream fabric and I also used some brown and green Sherpa fabric that I had left over. The cream fabric I purchased because I wanted to make a shrug but then when I got ready to make the shrug it turns out that I didn't have enough fabric so I was like okay I'll just use this for this McCall's top. So I had enough green fabric to make one sleeve and then I had enough brown fabric to make the other sleeve and then for the waistband I also made that in contrasting brown and green Sherpa fabric and this pattern is rated as average. Okay so the next sewing make is a dress that I made and I combined two sewing patterns to make this dress. So the skirt is New Look 6288 and the top bodice portion of the dress is from a bodysuit Simplicity 8513. I made the dress in this rib knit fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics. Here's the bodice piece of the bodysuit and here is the skirt portion. So I made changes to both of these and what I did was I just folded down or folded up or folded in this crotch extension area just to get kind of like a top and I used this because I liked how close it comes in on the sides and that was the look that I was going for and then for the skirt I actually did a slash and spread method because I wanted to create some volume and then once I did that I just pretty much taped these two pieces together this was spread open and it looked something like this once it was all altered. 
So I slashed and spread the skirt portion and then taped it to the bodice portion. And then I just cut around everything and sewed the dress up. So I just cut out two pieces of fabric and sewed everything together to make the dress. I did use some navy blue rib knit for the neck band just to give it a little contrast. I had some scraps left over so I figured I'd just use it. And I also added pockets to the dress which I really, really love. Okay, so the next garment is a jumpsuit and it is McCall's 8243. I made view B minus the belt. And this fabric was purchased from Hobby Lobby. This jumpsuit has buttons down the front, it has a collar, it has pockets on the side, and then I used some contrasting denim in the sleeve area because I just had some scraps left over. There is a pleat in the back of the jumpsuit and this pattern is rated as easy.